What's up, ladies and gentlemen, Wolfcryer here, and most of you out there might know me more as a Diablo 3 streamer and YouTuber who also likes to dabble in other action role-playing games like Path of Exile, Last Epoch, and other games in that genre. I was also the first person in the world to live stream the Diablo 4 demo from the floor of BlizzCon when it was announced, and I do still love my ARPGs, but there is a different type of game that has really gotten its claws into me lately, and that game is Seven Days to Die. Seven Days to Die has quickly become one of the most played games in my library. Since getting the game back at the end of May, I have over 500 hours played so far, and I am still loving every single minute of it. And today, I wanted to discuss the cause of great excitement within the Seven Days to Die community, Alpha 20. As you may or may not know, this game has been in its alpha phase of development for about eight years now. The game has grown quite substantially over that time period, and in my personal opinion, is still in a much better shape than many of the fully released games out there that I have played recently. The upcoming Alpha 20 patch is poised to be one of the game's biggest patches with major improvements to environmental assets and world building, a full HD redesign of many of the world's denizens, from the zombie protagonist to the NPC traders that players encounter, an overhaul of the building mechanics within the game, a rebuilding of the game's five biomes, and of course, a brand new tier of weapons for players to use in their constant battle for survival during this zombie apocalypse. Let's start off this new series with what is definitely one of my favorite parts of the impending update, a look at the new zombie redesigns. And these look absolutely fantastic. Starting off with the burnt zombie, this guy makes his home mainly in the burnt forest biome, but occasionally does show up in other places of interest as well. And this guy's seen better days for sure. These slow-moving zombies aren't really that intimidating when compared to their zombie brethren in their current form, but these new redesigns really kick that up a notch. They seem much more terrifying than the current versions and are slated to actually have three different versions when Alpha 20 goes live. The very recently revealed lab zombie overhaul is absolutely magnificent if you can call something this grotesque magnificent, that is. A much more intimidating look than what is currently in the game, and everything from her mangled face to that broken hand screams pure terror. And speaking of screams, one of the most terrifying zombies in Seven Days to Die is also getting a brand new look. The Screamer might be the best of the bunch when it comes to the new zombie redesigns, and this sneaky shrieker really gets a bump to the level of dread she will inspire among the player base. Those fang-like teeth, those eyes, that new blood-covered outfit... You might just need a change of pants if you let this one creep up on you and let off that wailing scream that they are known for. And with their ability to cause more mayhem, thanks to their capacity to launch acidic vomit at you during horde nights and quite literally explode, the zombie cops in Seven Days to Die are well feared, and the horrific new guys provided to them in Alpha 20 should bring that fear to all new heights. That greenish tint and that bloated body does a great job at letting players know this fella's about to blow. While green looks great on the new zombie cop, blue hasn't always done the lumberjack zombie justice, and thankfully, that is being addressed in Alpha 20. This beefy boy gets a big update to his look and loses that Elsa blue in favor of a more traditional lumberjack appearance, or at least the appearance of a traditional lumberjack who has succumbed to the zombie plague. Now, his appearance can actually match the horror that this guy inspires. It always seemed weird to be so afraid of such a bright blue beast of a zombie, 
But now that is being rectified and you can once again feel no shame in running from this monster of a one-time man. The hazmat zombie also gets a brand new skin in Alpha 20, and it's easy to see why this guy got infected, but a bit harder to determine whether it was the broken face shield or his missing boot that caused this poor guy to go from working stiff to walking stiff. I guess we'll never know because he'll never answer, at least not coherently. And I personally am loving this redesign as it adds that remnant of humanity that I think was missing from the current version, allowing for a split second of empathy before you separate this guy's head from the rest of his body. Sometimes in Seven Days to Die, the things that invoke the most jump scares walk on all fours rather than on two legs. And the zombie dog is at the top of the list when it comes to my personal fears in the game. The mere sight of a doghouse in the backyard of a home I'm about to enter instantly puts me on edge. The newly redesigned zombie dog does nothing to allay those fears. This much more intimidating look will have me looking around frantically whenever that growl becomes audible. This skin sends shivers up my spine, but at least it's not a bird. Last but not least, Alpha 20 not only redesigns many of its existing zombies, but will also unveil at least one brand new zombie as well. The irradiated zombie looks absolutely terrifying and makes me wonder how long this guy spent sunbathing on the beaches of Chernobyl. Now for me, this one is still an enigma of sorts. Will he simply be a brand new addition to the game's lineup of zombies, or will he actually be replacing the current version of irradiated zombies, which are just all the other zombies that became irradiated and have a bright green substance all over them, helping you to distinguish them from non-irradiated zombies. I'm not sure, and if this has been stated anywhere by the Fun Pimps team, please let me know down in that comment section down below. But there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, a look at all of the new zombie redesigns revealed so far for Seven Days to Die. Let me know down in that comment section down below which one of these is sure to strike more terror for you than its current in-game version. And definitely, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I always greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and you all have a fantastic day. Peace.